is it a real or a mythological story well there are two things over here first of all just this categorization itself is uh, to some extent uh, artificial uh, categorization based on a uh, non vedic framework of thinking that we if we consider this it is in the western post newtonian way of approaching reality uh, reality is seen as fact centered hmm? whereas if we consider even in the western world before uh, before uh, the age of what we call a scientific revolution even the histories that are written hmm, whether it is shakespeare writing or whether the iliad odyssey whatever books are written the purpose of history is not facts but values that we study what has happened in the past to learn values from it so the facts are it's not that the facts are not there or not important but the facts are not the primary thing so so this when we talk about real or mythological the idea is real means it's based on facts and mythological means okay there are some values to be learned from it but it's not real no the vedic understanding is that there is real history but the focus is not on the facts of history the focus is on the values learned from history now uh, to go beyond to specifically the question is is this something that really happened yes the universe is far far more complex than what our senses can perceive and even what our technologically extended sense of cognition whether it is through the universe in space or in the past history what we can perceive that is limited so beyond what we can perceive there are many things in the universe and yes the lord can appear in extraordinary forms and the lord can do extraordinary deeds so these are not so the say the lord narasimha dev appearing through a pillar and breaking himself out having a giant form now all this is not unscientific uh, divine activities are not against science they are above science they are science expresses god's will in terms of how he has ordered the universe to function in normal circumstances mm? so whether it is newton's laws of motion or electromagnetic uh, laws of electromagnetism or whatever they also express god's will of how nature functions normally but sometimes by divine will for special situations the normal way of functioning is suspended and sometimes the lord does extraordinary things so both the ordinary course of things happening in nature and the extraordinary things that happen when the lord appears both a devotee sees as expressing god's uh, god's supremacy through the order of the universe and through the to suspend temporary suspension of that order so yes these are historical events but these are not just ordinary historical events we can say this is transcendence manifesting through history normal normal history is operating within the constraints of space and time and the laws of physics but when the lord appears within history at that time those constraints of time and space of the laws of physics are suspended so when krishna say lifts the govardhan hill somebody may ask you know how can somebody one person lift a big mountain and even if he lift the mountain so even if i have to lift my phone on the little finger it's difficult and how can i have to first of all find the exact center of gravity to be able to lift up govardhan uh, to lift up uh, this uh, phone also and balance it so if somebody asks how could krishna have lifted up the govardhan hill how did he heavy, lift such a heavy weight how did he find the center of gravity how did he resist its weight so actually krishna doesn't have to find the center of gravity because he is the source of gravity so gravity acts under his rule under his will and he can suspend it temporarily so yes even if these some of the events seem supernatural uh, they they seem miraculous but that doesn't mean that they are fictional so we can use the word mythological in the sense that they the focus is on values that is true but if you are saying mythological in the sense that it is fictional 
no it's not fictional they are fantastic but they are not fantasy fantasy means their imagination fantastic means they involve things which is difficult for us to understand which are difficult for us to perceive but that doesn't mean that they are fictional 